Hi everyone, mechanics of materials, torsion in fillet circular shafts. So in this example, we have a, a step circular shaft with a radius of fillet of 9 over 16 inches. So the step shaft provided is rotating at 900 review per minute to transmit power from a turbine to a generator. The material is steel with the allowable shearing stress of 8 kilopound square inches. In part A, we want to know for the preliminary design, determine the maximum power which can be transmitted by a radius of fillet of 9 over 16. And in next video, in part B, we want to increase the radius of fillet from 9 over 16 to 15 over 16 to see the effect of change in in terms of increase or decrease of uh, power produced so we need to jump to the plot of a stress concentration factor for the fillet in circular shaft so the larger diameter is capital D 7.5 inches which is here and the smaller diameter shaft is 3.75 inches capital capital D 7.5 inches and D is 3.75 inches and the radius of fillet is 9 over 16 which is provided then by having R over D and the D over D R over D is 0.15 is over here and if you climb that up to reach the D capital D over D which is 2 this graph and just extend it to the vertical axis it just gives you a K equal to almost 1.33 so that's our stress concentration factor due to this table for a fillet circular shaft as soon as we have like a stress concentration factor we can calculate the torsional torque which applies here then tau maximum is k times t c over j and for having tau maximum we need the minimum j which is the smaller polar moment of inertia for a smaller shaft so then the only unknown in this uh, formula is equation is torsional torque t is j over c if you bring it to this first part j over c times tau maximum over stress concentration factor and j over c is just simply a half of pi c cube for a smaller shaft and if you do the mass it just gives you 10.35 inch cube and also on the other hand we have the allowable shearing stress for a steel which is 8 kilopound square inch inches based of problem statement so tau maximum if you replace that for tau maximum then divided by a stress concentration factor you can get a, a smaller amount for tau maximum over k in terms of strength uh, in, in terms of a uh, maximum stress that's 6.02 ksi and then torsional torque is simply this part j over c which is 10.35 times tau maximum over k which is this part and it just gives us 62.3 kilopounds inches in terms of torsional torque which applies applies at, at a smaller end so to calculate the power transmitted is for the step shaft based of problem statement we know that it's rotating at 900 review per minute to transmit the power from a turbine to a generator we already calculated the torsional torque which is the previous part 62 point uh, 62.3 kilopounds inches and then the formula for power is 2 pi frequency torsional torque then since our frequency is 900 review per minute and then 
1 hertz is equal to 60 review per minute. Cancel out the units. It just gives us a frequency of 15 hertz or 15 over seconds. Then replace in the main equation of power, which is 2 pi times frequency times torsional torque. We have like we calculate frequency based of review per minute and then multiply by torsional torque. It just gives us 5.87 times 10 to 6 inch pound per second and if you convert that to horsepower it just gives us a 890 horsepower in terms of power which is transmitted from this configuration if it's rotate at 900 review per minute so for allowable torsional torque for design having a r over 9 over 16 is 62.3 kilopounds inches and tau maximum is 6.02 ksi we already calculated the power which can be transmitted which is 890 if i'm not wrong and then uh, in next video we'll talk about what if we increase the diameter of the uh, if we increase the radius of the fillet to a higher amount then what happens to a torsional torque and also tau maximum and also power transmitted thank you